most AMD Polaris cards work out of the box in macOS. But XFX cards specifically have a BIOS issue that prevents them from booting. In this video I'm going to show you how to get an XFX RX 460 working in macOS by flashing the vBIOS. Whenever you flash your vBIOS there's always a risk of breaking your card if something goes wrong. So do this at your own risk and only as a last resort. This worked for me but I can't guarantee that it will work for you so always do your own research. The card I'm going to be flashing is an XFX single fan RX 464GB and I'm going to be force flashing it with a BIOS from a Gigabyte Windforce RX 464GB. First you need to download ATI Flash 2.93. I found that newer versions don't work because of the different SSIDs but 2.93 will allow you to force flash the BIOS and allow it to work in macOS. I downloaded version 2.93 from 3DFX Zone but you can also find it on Tech Power Up under older versions. I'll link to both sites down in the video description. Once ATI Flash is downloaded, right click on the zip file, select Extract All and then click Extract. This will create a new folder with all of the files inside. Now we need to download the new BIOS. The BIOS I'm using is from the Gigabyte Winforce 4 Gigabyte card. Go to the Tech Power Up webpage for this BIOS which I'll link down below. Scroll down and click the Download Now button at the bottom. Once it's downloaded, open your Downloads folder and drag the BIOS into the ATI Flash folder. Now run Command Prompt by typing CMD into the Windows search box and clicking Run as Administrator. Copy the path to the ATI Flash folder by clicking the path bar in Windows Explorer, highlighting the path and pressing Ctrl and C to copy it. Then switch back to the command prompt, type CD followed by a space and then press Ctrl and V to paste the path you just copied, followed by Enter. Now to identify your GPU type AMD VB Flash hyphen I. You should see your GPU listed with the adapter number 0 on the left. Before continuing I'm just going to back up my existing vBIOS using GPU-Z. If you don't have GPU-Z already installed there'll be a link to download it down in the video description. Run GPU-Z and then click the little icon with an arrow next to the BIOS version. Select save to file, type a name for the backup ROM and then click save. After a few seconds you should see a message saying saved 262144 bytes. Now you can click OK and quit GPU-Z. Now it's time to force flash the card. Go back to the command prompt and type AMD VB flash hyphen F hyphen P and then the adapter number which is 0. Then highlight the name of the BIOS file in Windows Explorer, copy it with Ctrl C and then switch back to the command prompt and press Ctrl and V to paste it. Now when you press enter the Gigabyte BIOS will be force flashed to the card and you'll see a message telling you to restart the system to complete the vBIOS update. After rebooting run GPU-Z again and you should see that it's now recognised as a Gigabyte card. Here's the GPU-Z window before and here's after. The sub vendor and the device ID have both changed and there's also been a slight reduction in the GPU clock from 1220 to 1212 MHz, but that equates to a very tiny fraction of a frame per second in games. The card still works fine in Windows, but more importantly it also now works perfectly in macOS. I hope this video helps, that's it for now, thanks for watching.